This video is provided to you by Bitmachina, the easiest way to buy bitcoins in eastern Ontario. Visit bitmachina.ca and find our nearest location today. Hey guys, this is Chris from Bitmachina. I decided to record this video because a lot of you are asking me, A, which wallet should I use? Uh, how can I create a wallet? Therefore, in this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can get started with the Exodus wallet. Why did I choose the Exodus wallet? Well, because over the years, I helped customers set up different wallets. And to me, the most user-friendly appears to be the Exodus wallet. So if you want to see how you can get started, please watch this video. Thanks. All right, guys. Uh, so I'm going to show you how you can get started with the Exodus wallet step by step. At first, you're going to click on the Play Store icon if you're using an Android phone. And if you would be using an iPhone, you would click on the Play Store icon. So in that case, I'm using an Android phone, so I will click on the Play Store icon. Then I'm going to download the Exodus app. So now uh, we can see that I already typed in uh, Exodus. Uh, make sure that uh, the spelling is correct. And then you'll click on install. Uh, please beware because a lot of ads are paying uh, to have a better ranking uh, in the Play Store or the App Store. So sometimes you're going to type uh, Exodus and it's not going to be the, the app that will be um, ranked first. So make sure that you download the correct app. You click on install. Then you wait for the app to get fully installed. All right, so then we're going to click on open. We don't have a wallet, so we're going to select create wallet. So I'll click on now create wallet we don't want to learn more at this stage so we're going to go out from that page So that's pretty much it. The wallet has been created. Uh, so now we can do whatever we want with it. Um, you can use it freely at this stage. But now for this specific wallet, there's no funds. Uh, so the next logical step would be to, to send funds to that wallet. If you're watching this video because you want to use one of our ATMs or you want to send it from a different service provider, and you want to buy Bitcoin, for instance, uh, you would go here. So you would click on Bitcoin. Then what you would do is that you would click on the arrow down located at the on the right side of the screen. Um, always keep in mind that the arrow pointing up is to send arrow down is to receive. So let's say you would want to receive. You will click on the arrow down here and you would get that QR code. So if you're using one of our ATMs or you're purchasing from a, a counter, uh, that's what you're going to need to to present um, so you can receive your, your cryptos. With that said, if you're using a different uh, type of service provider like your cryptocurrency exchange, most likely uh, the best format will be the alphanumerical uh, format displayed uh, underneath the QR code. So you, you would copy uh, the letters and numbers like this and that's what you would use to receive your cryptos. So I hope it demystifies the whole process of creating a wallet. And uh, I'm going to create more videos soon explaining to you how you can uh, use the other features in the app, how you can send and receive cryptos using this app, and uh, how you can secure your funds to avoid uh, losing it all. Well, thank you for watching this video. Ciao.